And this example, we are calculating the work done by this 1,500 newtons uh, that's acting at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal. We calculated this component and we added it to the normal force and we see both of them are balancing the weight so that the object does not uh, fly or sink to the ground. The frictional force is calculated by the coefficient of kinetic friction, mu k, it is given, it's a constant that basically tells you how difficult it is to slide an object on a surface, right? So here we said mu k would be 0 0.20, right? And then that force of 2190, which I've actually added here to say it would be more like the weight minus that 750, right? And then we get a frictional force of 438 newtons. Now, I said to you guys that the sign, the negative sign here must actually show you that the force is backwards. Are we together? So here you can just take the difference of the two forces, but in actual fact, if you choose the positive direction to be to the right, then it means to the left, it will be um, to the left, then it will be negative. Up will be positive, down will be negative. Frictional force, and we know the x component, and we know that the object is moving horizontally in the x direction, right? So then we can start calculating the net force. The net force will be 1299.038, which is forward, minus the frictional force, and that's what we said there. And then we get the net force, not the normal force, but the net force to be 861.038. Okay? Then we can use that force. We multiply it with the displacement and we can get the total work done or basically the work done by the net force in the forward direction. You can calculate the work done by each of the forces. So you can also calculate the work that is done by the applied force, right? Remember the applied force is this force over here, okay? The 1,500 Newtons. But we know not all of it will be doing work in the horizontal axis. Only the FAX will do work, okay? So the force that we'll be using is 1299.038. Fax, all right, multiplied by the five newton. So this work done by the, so if you get the difference between those two, total work done basically will be the work done by the applied force minus the work done by friction, okay? This was the frictional force and that's the work done by frictional force. And this is the work done by the X component of the applied force. The difference between them is 4305.190 joules. The work done by a system of forces that's similar to the one that we've just been working on, only this time, we are not going to pull the object. We are going to push the object. So this time we are pushing. Again, we have to resolve the forces, all right, into the y as well as the x, all right? So there'll be a force that's acting that way. We can call that one FAX, and there'll be another one going down that we call FAY. So this, we said that is going to be 1,500 newtons will be The magnitude of the force, as we know from there, multiplied by the sine of this angle of 30 degrees. All right, the same 1,500 newtons multiplied by the sine of 30. And we know that this one will also then be 
750. This time, you can notice that it is in the negative direction because we're choosing down as negative and then this way as positive, up as positive, red as negative. All right? So now we know the forces that are acting there. We know the weight is acting down. All right? So what else do we know? We also know that there'll be frictional force that's acting backwards. All right. So now, again, we acknowledge the fact that the frictional force will be given by coefficient of kinetic friction multiplied by the balancing force or that normal force that's keeping it from um, sinking. Now note something, the act of pushing it uh, at an angle of 30 degrees like that, you're pushing it to the ground, so you're increasing uh, the force that's going downwards, right? So it means the, 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 the ground has to work extra hard to keep it on it. So the force that's going to be the normal force, it's obvious then to see that first you'll have to balance the weight, right? And after balancing the weight, you need to also balance the uh, the component, the FAY, right? And what is that? Okay, let me just. What? So FAY, we know it is 750. So now the normal force will be 3690. The new K is zero. 0.20, all right? Now we're going to say UK, which is 0 0.20, multiplied by the normal force, which is 3690. So that will be 0.20 multiplied by 3690, And this is still a force. So this force is negative. You see the answer has to be negative because it is in the negative x direction, okay? The normal force is upwards, so it is positive, okay? FAY was negative because it is down. Some of the forces in the x direction, the summation of forces in the x direction, so it's 1299. 0 0.038. Now the frictional force, the value is negative, is going to be negative 738 newtons. The difference between those two, all right, we know the work done will be basically the force or the net force in that direction multiplied by the displacement in that direction. That's 561.38 multiplied by five. Let's go for it. So you get Two eight four six point nine joules. So this is the total work done in that direction. Okay. Uh, perhaps it might. Occur.